Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a fantastic day. Uh, today we're talking about the RS5 and a couple of things that I'm not really digging. Um, I usually talk about that Audi makes these fantastic cars with great build quality, but there are two things that I just found I wanted to share with you that are not too great, especially that I had a Ram and a Dodge earlier and they didn't have these problems. So, um, you know, something to, something to talk about. So before we get into the video, I'm absolutely loving this car. Don't get me wrong, beside these two things, everything so far has been great. I mean, the car drives great. I can get over humps, speed bumps, drive into anywhere I need to go to, which is what this car needs to be. And it's also pretty quick. Unfortunately, yeah, I haven't broken it in yet, so I can't do any fast pulls yet. But that's coming soon. Oh, come on. Yeah. The interior, however, is where everything is at and where I've had the most enjoyment with this car. I mean, obviously, this is where you sit, this is where you drive. Gotta turn down the music, there we go. AC's been perfect. I really do like that I have a special place to put the key in. I like that I have a special place for my phone, two cup holders, a little spot here for the garage, I mean, the, the gate key. It's been perfect, honestly, except for a couple of things that basically haven't been perfect. So first of all, here, the door cards. I like to rest my arm on this while I'm driving, and uh, when I do, I hear this. Yeah. Not something I would expect from Audi's build quality. And uh, the same thing happens on the other side, just to show you that it's not... A little bit less though. But you can still hear that and uh, never had that in the A6, 7, the Q8 and so on. Because I've never driven an A4 or A5 before, this is kind of all new to me and, and I'm discovering this as I drive the car. I've got 334 kilometers, so I still got 1,300 kilometers to get to 1,000 miles. And then I can properly drive the car and then send it a little bit. I've also adjusted the virtual cockpit to that sport display that I'm kind of getting used to. I wasn't a fan of it at the beginning. And the second thing that has been annoying is the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Once again, used it in the A6, the A7, the Q8, uh, RS models and so on. Never had an issue. In this, kind of not as great. Sound quality is very good but there's something wrong with the speaker up there. Also, sound quality is when I say it's very good, it's very good, but it's not very loud. I'd expect it to be louder, especially when you have 19 speakers in the car all around a 750 watt amplifier, very similar actually to what I had in the Ram. And that was a lot louder and it just got the bass going and so on. This car, not so much, a bit more understated with the audio option and when you pay for an optional extra that is supposed to be better it could be a letdown so just to let you guys know if you're planning to get this car this car already came with it so i really didn't have a choice go to a showroom try to listen to a similar car that has that audio system before you take that off uh, to purchase it okay so now i'm gonna just play a song that won't get this video copyrighted so uh you'll be able to see it and um, i'll show you what it sounds like Okay, so that's what it kind of sounds like, unfortunately. There is a little buzz in the mid bass tones, I believe, but it happens at the beginning of that song and it kind of fades away while, you know, other tones are coming in. But there are definitely a lot of songs in my collection on Spotify. You'll be able to hear it pretty much all the way through. And it doesn't matter at what volume level. I, you know, I understand if you go really loud, you'll be able to hear it even at the lower volume levels you will hear that noise and it is extremely annoying and it's something that you wouldn't kind of expect from an Audi product or a Bang & Olufsen product. 
Basically, I'm going to take the car to service. I tried to call them today, but they're closed. And uh, we'll see what we can do with the speaker. I'm not sure we could do much with the door cards. I think that is just something that comes from factory and all cars are like that. But if you have one and you don't have that, well, let me know because then I'll also raise that up at the service meeting and talk about the speaker, obviously, and let you guys know the process and if it works and if they're able to do something about it, which I think they should. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. The next video is I'm going to be talking about the infotainment system and how to connect your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well as wireless Apple CarPlay. That's going to be fun. Uh, just some short videos for the people who still talk with their phones next to their heads while driving with a system that can just do it for you and you can use loudspeaker and concentrate on the road. Take care and stay safe.